my name is Callie and this is my mousetrap car. First, I'd like to talk to you about my design. First, I decided to use CDs as my wheels because they have a greater diameter, which will allow it to travel a greater distance. Next, I attached my string to the axle because the force of the spring will pull the string, which will cause friction between the string and the axle, which will cause the axle to spin. Next, I put balloons on the outside rim of my um, CDs because that will allow traction between the ground and the floor, which will allow the which will conserve energy and allow the um, car to travel farther. Lastly, I tried to make my car as small a mass as possible so there will be a greater acceleration. I hypothesize this from Newton's second law of motion, which states that force equals mass times acceleration. I assume that if I had a lesser mass, the acceleration would, will be greater because mass and acceleration are inversely proportional. So I'm hoping that this will travel as um, greater than 2 meters, so let, now let's try it out. <laughs> So, while the mousetrap car was at rest, it only had elastic potential energy. As Newton's first law of motion states, an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted on by an outside force. In this case, the outside force was the spring. As the spring did work, ideally the stored energy all transferred to kinetic. However, as Newton's third law of motion states that every force has an equal but opposite reaction, the forces of the car on the floor and the floor on the car could have transferred some of the car's potential energy to thermal energy in the ground. Hopefully we all understand physics a little better now. Thank you for watching my video.